Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably seen hundreds of people start carrying around Stanley Cups, or as they're officially called, the Quencher. The mass proliferation of this specific cup over the last year has been incredible. The more I've been thinking about it, the more I've noticed just how many people actually have it. So, this week I spent hours researching and looking into the business. Not just how the product works or how it compares to other brands, but mainly why is everyone spending so much on water bottles? And will this trend actually stick? Why is Stanley the most popular right now when compared to other brands like Hydro Flask? And a bit of a spoiler, it's a much bigger story than just they make high quality products. But before I jump into all the answers, if you like learning about business and finance topics like this, or topics like how crumble cookies spread from just one shop in 2017 to over 600 locations in 2023, then make sure you like this video and subscribe, as then you'll get to see more educational, informative, and hopefully entertaining videos. And without further ado, let's discuss the 10 reasons why Stanley's got so popular. Number one, Stanley is a much older company than you might think. It started in 1913 when William Stanley Jr. found that he could use a welding technique to create a better insulated water bottle. Most bottles at the time Stanley's first started were made out of glass. So Stanley pioneered a technique to insulate with a metal inside of a metal and sucking out the air in between them to create a vacuum. And as science class taught us, vacuums do not transfer heat very well. These thermoses became really popular, especially for people who needed a more durable alternative to the glass bottles and wanted their drinks to stay cold for a long period of time. Soldiers and pilots in World War II used the bottle frequently, and rumor has it that Stanley thermoses have been used to transport organs in some conflicts. So again, while other companies used foam insulation, Stanley literally invented the vacuum-sealed thermos. This brings me to reason number two, durability. People have covered this in countless YouTube videos comparing Hydro Flasks, Yetis, Stanleys, and others. And sure, maybe Yeti is better in durability according to some experiments, but they're all about the same. Unless you plan on dropping the bottle from thousands of feet up in the air and then throwing an axe at it repeatedly, you probably aren't going to break one of these things. But all the metal water bottles nowadays are pretty durable, so this isn't really a differentiating feature for Stanley. But number three, the handle differentiates it a lot. The side handle on the cup is unique and makes it stand apart from other water bottle brands in the marketplace. The handle forces you to hold it because with the handle, it won't fit in a backpack's water bottle sleeve or anything like that. Having everyone holding it makes the cup itself more noticeable and acts as a form of free advertising. This is a similar idea to how Hydro Flasks got so popular. Hydro Flasks were too big to fit in normal water bottle slots, so people would have to carry them, basically doing all the advertising for the brand. And on that note, we get number four, the shape. The Stanley has a narrower bottom so that it specifically will fit into cup holders. I know that it really bugs me that my current water bottle doesn't fit in my car's cup holder. So I can see that for a lot of people, this is a big selling point. So the size fits better than most Hydro Flasks for car cup holders, but the handle design still makes people have to carry it in an obvious way and thus advertise for the brand. It's the best of both worlds. Stanley's rise to ubiquity wasn't just because of the shape. The timing of the Stanley Cup was also perfect. Because of number five, COVID. The whole Stanley brand targets outdoorsy activities like camping and backpacking. They don't just sell water bottles, they do cookware, food storage, and coolers. During COVID, people started looking to go outdoors more, so the brand became even more popular, and the cups became more popular with it. And when those things became popular, that brings us to number six, scarcity. Stanley was not prepared for the level of demand that the Stanley Cup would bring. At one point, the waitlist was 150,000 people long, and for the greater part of 2022, most of their products were entirely sold out. Frankly, people love what they can't have, and the scarcity of the cup along with its price tag added to its desirability and brand prestige. The combo of high demand and low supply made the Stanley Cup appear even more valuable. Stanley Cup's popularity was magnified even more by number 7, TikTok. Popular influencers who liked the cups would include them in their videos, which would act as free advertising for Stanley. Another factor that adds to this perception of value is reason number 8, marketing and influencers. Three women started an Instagram e-commerce blog called The Buy Guide in 2017, not too long before the Tumblr Cup first came out. They gave it a good review and contributed to its popularity as they shared it with their friends and followers. Then Stanley discontinued the cup and everyone went nuts. So The Buy Guide quickly worked with Stanley to bring it back. Every time they linked to the cup, it would sell out almost instantaneously. In 2021, Stanley saw a 215% increase in their new best-selling hydration category, which includes the classic Stanley Cup, which sold out with almost every single restock. 
They also had a 40% increase in their sales of their coffee and tea category, and there was a 1000% increase in the Stanley Camp cook sales year over year. Although we don't have data for 2022, I still see them everywhere, so I'm sure they're doing okay. Next up is number nine, the temperature. And here's the thing, those mini experiences of putting ice in the bottle and checking after 10 hours may show that Yeti is slightly better, but by like one degree. Who really cares? The average consumer does not care about a one degree difference. The fact is that most modern insulated water bottles hold their temperatures extremely well these days. So again, I don't think the durability and temperature keeping abilities are what sell the Stanley Cup. I realized during my research that the reason number 10 of why this fad grew so much is because it's one of the few items people always have with them in public. Think about what people typically have, whether they're students, moms, full-time employees, or whatever, they have keys, phones, clothes, sometimes a purse or a backpack, and a water bottle. So items associated with these rise in popularity pretty commonly and pretty quickly. Think about how pop sockets became so popular, or how even Uggs spread like wildfire despite them being kind of weird looking shoes. And then consider how these brands died down. Now it's not like they're bankrupt or anything like that, but they're just not as big in the public conscious as they used to be. Stanley has been around for over 100 years, so I bet they'll stay around, but the specific Stanley Cup tumbler? I don't know, do you think the trend will last? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But to be honest, I don't think the trend will last. I think the fact that these cups can spill way easier than a traditional water bottle with a traditional lid will cause them to fade from popularity. But even apart from that, these types of items usually come and go. Hydro flasks were all the rage a couple of years ago, and then they faded out of the limelight. I think this is just the thing right now. But luckily, it seems like the insulated water bottles are here to stay. This graph shows the value of the insulated water bottle market in billions of dollars. As you can see, the insulated bottle market is set to grow substantially over the next several years. While I think the specific design of the Stanley Thirst Quencher Cup may come and go, thankfully I don't think people will ever bring the trend back to cheap plastic water bottles. And I think that's a pretty good note to end on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe so you can see more cool videos about business successes and failures. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.